I want to make a thing so that I can run these LED sparkly lights off batteries. The whole reason I'm kind of doing this is so that I can take them camping and use them with the caravan while we're not connected to mains electric. And I also, you know, although they're only LED, there is a hundred bulbs on each thing. And what I don't want is these running me leisure battery flat. I would be gutted if some sparkly lights meant that we could no longer have any running water. And in any case, that would be awkward because annoyingly, and, and normally LED strips and all that normally run off 12 volts, but for whatever reason, these run off 24 volts. So the, the transformer on this one says 24 volts. The other ones that are plugged in says 24 volt 3V8. It says max power 3 watts, 100 bulbs. Lamp rating is 3 volts to 3.6 volts. A rating of 0.064 watts per bulb. So for 100 bulbs, that would make it 6.4 watts. Um, I'm not an electronics expert. Someone can probably explain why that adds up to 6.4 and it says 3 watts there. I have no idea why. All I'm going to do, I've got somewhere some battery holder things. Um, and I'm going to try to just run it off some double A's. 16 double A's, series them together, connected up to a, a connector thingy and connected up to that and hopefully it should work. I have no idea how long they'll last. I could probably do some clever calculation to work that out. Um, I can't be bothered so I'm just going to leave them on and see how long before the batteries run out. But I'm going to be running them off 16 AA batteries. Ooty doty, let's crack on. Right, I'm just going to kind of rough this together really, really quickly because I have no idea if this is even going to work. I think I can't think of any reason why it wouldn't work. So I'm seriesing these two packs together. So basically by joining them two wires, that'll give us 24 volts out of these two, theoretically. The extra hands have vanished. Eh? Eh? Okay, no idea where they've... Ah, oh, I think my son's borrowed them. I'm assuming positive is... Middle, yep. So we're just gonna... Have, I'm not sure... We've got three terminals on this, I have no idea why. This ain't gonna win any awards for tidy soldering, I tell you that much. That seems good. Right, I need some batteries. Let's see if this actually works. That's on DC volts. So we should have 24 volts across. These two. 20. Yeah, bonus. Right. Let's see if it works. Theoretically. Where's the end of me wire? Where's the plug? Where's the. Seriously. Come on, just work. Don't explode. Uh, well, it's not very bright, but it's working. Why is it not very bright? Okay, why is it really dim through there? It's working. But it's like mega dim. What about these ones? They're much brighter. They're like full brightness, but they're not. I have no idea why. Someone tell us why that's not full brightness for these. I'll plug these into the mains. Okay, that's them in the mains. And 
That's some off battery. That's exactly the same. Whereas these ones, that's some off mains. Not some off battery. Ah, why is that doing that? Well, anyway, one of them works. So, what I'm also going to do then, I'm going to um, split this off uh, so that I've got two connectors so I can run both sets of lights. Need some wire. It's the only wire I can find. Can you tell I'm in a rush? Oh, this is so hard without my extra hands. You sit there. Oh my God, I'm gonna have some sort of aneurysm. I've literally, I've got nothing to hold this. Maybe I should have an on off switch. Version 2 will have an on-off switch. At the minute, I just need this to kind of work. Right, that'll do. Right, let's try running both sets, see what happens. Then, if I've got time, I might try and find an on-off switch, but I don't know if I've got one. This one, does it make any difference which one it's on? No, no difference at all. I have no idea why that's like really dim. I'm sure someone will explain it, but no idea. Uh, the other set. Well, there we go. It's working, but for some reason this set of lights is really dim, and I have no idea why. These ones are working fine, but these ones aren't I might have to do a bit of research I mean there's nothing loads of the bulbs are completely off such is life these ones are working great it kind of works I will at some point make a proper holder for all of this because it's an absolute mess at the minute but at least it works which is kind of the main thing so I'll, I'm, I'm giving it a kind of temporary thumbs up will do the job. I'm running the, everything's off battery, 24 volts. That one works. That one's like not quite right. Curiosity got the better of us here. Um, by the way, I'm gonna pop a bit of heat shrink on the end of that. Don't know, I think I'll live without heat shrink on, on these bits. Whoa, let's just not short all that out. And look, I've got this little box that used to have my pocket hole screws in. This is gonna be me battery holder and I'll kind of Put these in the side maybe try and put some foam around it or something to pad it and jobs are good and look at that little 24 volt power thing this um weird dim led thing has been doing my head in a bit so check this out i've got another meter on the off chance it was a meter to blame someone please explain this right so i know i've got 24 volts coming out of there here is uh one of the power supplies can we see this let me just point that up a bit I'm going to very carefully pop a power connector in the end of that. Let's put this somewhere where you can hopefully see it. Can you see that? Right there. I know this power supply works fine on one of the sets of LEDs, but it's given, it's still, even with the this power supply, it's dim on the other set of LEDs. So, let's see what this power supply gives out. Switch it on helps. So that's given 23.6 volts, that's fine to be expected for a 24 volt power supply. Cool. These two power supplies, right, they're rated exactly the same. Primary side, 240 volts, 50 hertz. Secondary side, 24 volts. The only slight difference is that that's 3VA and that's 3.6VA. But Check this out, right? 24 volts DC. Let me just turn the angry music down. So, pop that on. This PSU 
rated at 24 vets, not shorted out. It's given out nearly 36 volts. No wonder it's dim with only 24 volts. On the sticker, on here, it says 24 volts. And that says, tw and that says 24 volts, it's 36 volts. The crap anyway. Not bothered. I'll just I'll just use these ones. These ones will do the job fine. Trusty. Uh, where are these from? I'm not sure. Asda George. I bet they're both from Asda. To be honest. Okay, that explains the dim LEDs. Such as life. I'm gonna quickly sort this out, and then that's me kind of done with this. I mean, it is a takeaway carton at the end of the day. Oh, you. T right, need to find a new container. I've buggered that. The only container I can find is this, which uh, is a Haribo giant strawberry container. And this time, if I maybe put a bit of wood behind it, maybe it will not instantly shatter. Let's see, yeah. Uh... All right. Whoa, look at that! Fits perfect. I'm really in a rush because I start teaching soon. <laughs> Let me pop some heat shrink on that. In case you didn't know, I teach the drums when I'm not funny and on doing this stuff. I think these ends will be okay. Right, Haribo. Do your stuff. Oh man, this is gonna go down as one of the crappiest things I've ever made. That'll do it. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. Giant strobes. LED lights. Look at that. And I can, I can plug in two sets. Champion. That'll do the job. Gets an official thumbs up now. That's not my fault that these LEDs are buggered. See you next time. Bye.